I'm Anil Kumar and here is a trigonometric expression to work with. It will get us ready for solving trigonometric identities. The question here is, write trigonometric expression as a single trigonometric ratio. State restrictions, if any. Now let's begin with the restrictions. The denominator cannot be zero. That leads to restrictions, correct? So, so the restrictions here are uh, when the denominator is zero, that is a restriction. So the restrictions could be written as that cos x is not equal to 1, which we could get, we say 1 minus cos x should not be equal to 0. That means cos x should not be equal to 1, correct? The other restriction is that uh, 1 minus 1 plus cos x, the other is 1 plus cos x equals to 0. It should not be equal to 0. So, so the cos x should not be equal to minus 1. So the restrictions are that the cos x cannot be equal to plus 1 or minus 1. Correct? Now, you know, when is cos x plus 1 or minus 1? So if you draw the graph for the cosine function, it's kind of like this, right? So as you know, cos x is plus 1 or minus 1 at 0 and at pi, correct? So the restriction is that x is not equal to 0 or pi if you are working in the domain 0 to 2 pi. Now if we need to write this as a general expression then it is not it is not at 2 pi also so we could write this as general expression that x is not equal to n pi where n belongs to integer. So that becomes a general expression right so it's 2 pi also. So that is the restriction for the given question. Now let us solve this and write this as a single trigonometric ratio. I hope this point is very clear. Now to write this as a single trigonometric ratio, we can take common denominator. So we can multiply these two, right? So what we could write this as 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x. So sin x, the first one, gets multiplied by 1 plus cos x and the other one gets multiplied by 1 minus sin x, correct? Now the denominator here is, I mean cos x, 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x is 1 minus cos square x. In the numerator we can take sin x common, right? And we get 1 plus cos x and here we have 1 minus cos x, cross multiply, right? So 1 minus cos x plus 1 minus cos x. Now this could be written as sin x. 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get 2 here. And cos x minus cos x is 0. Divided by 1 minus cos square x, which is sin square x. So we could write this as... 2 sin x over sin square x, which could be simplified and written as 2 over sin x, right? Sin x and sin x cancel out. Now, one, 2 over sin x is equals to 2. 1 over sin x is cosecant x. So this expression could be written as 2 cosecant x, right? Now, when you simplify it, you get sin x in the denominator. Now, that means sin x cannot be zero, right? So, that is also satisfied by the condition which we gave earlier. We can now look into it once again. If you draw sin x graph, then sin x graph is kind of like this, right? So, sin x is zero at zero, pi and two pi, correct? In one cycle, of course. Now, this, since this is a periodic function, it really continues, correct? So it is actually continuing. So at these points, where x is equals to n pi and n is not, n belongs to integers. So that becomes the restriction for the given function, right? So we can write this as the expression is equal to 2 cosecant x. And the restriction is that x 
belongs to real number but is not equals to n pi where n belongs to integers correct so that is how we could answer this question i hope the steps are absolutely clear thank you and all the best